Hello Aquarius and welcome to your weekly messages from the universe reading. Aquarius, we are looking at some tarot cards and oracle cards to give you the messages that are here for you. I want to remind you to have a look at your sun sign, your moon sign and also your ascendant sign because together this is going to give you a much fuller, deeper reading. Aquarius, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell as I release videos every single day for you. So, remember that these videos are generalized, so take what resonates with you, leave what doesn't, because that's going to resonate with someone else who is watching these videos. Aquarius, let's get started and see what is going on for you this week. You are opening up the reading with a card that many people fear, right? But this card is actually not as scary as most people think it is because it talks about endings, yes, but endings allow new beginnings to come into our lives. Endings allow things to be cleared out so we can have a clean slate to work on. So the death card is really speaking about transformations, it's speaking about cleansing. So here, this card is asking you, is it time to cleanse your home? Is it time to cleanse the energies around you? Because by cleansing the energies around you, you are going to be opening up for new energies to come in, for newness, for vibrancy, for something new to grow and flourish. But if you're keeping old clothes that you never wear, if you're keeping old things around that you never use, then it's very difficult for the divine to come in and bless you with new things because every single energy point is cluttered, is full to the brim. So the divine is saying here, with the death card, clear some space so the divine can be able to sprinkle new things, blessings for you. Because if this clearing is not here, then the blessings that you're praying for, how can they come in? So this card is a card that's really asking you to cleanse, to declutter, to sage your home so you can remove toxic energies if you're fighting in your home. You need to cleanse that out so that new loving energy can enter. If someone has been sick in your home, cleanse your home by some sage by whatever incense that you like that are really powerful in cleansing energies and then go around, ground yourself, connect to the divine, say a prayer, whatever works for you and then go around and lovingly cleanse each room of your home so you can invite new energies and don't forget to open those doors and windows so that that bad energy can, can clear and I promise you, you're going to feel like whew, a breath of fresh air is now around you. This card also speaks about liberation and challenging you to see where you can free yourself, where you can liberate yourself. Are there habits that are around that you know that these habits don't serve you any longer, but for some reason you don't know how to liberate great how to liberate yourself from these habits. Now is the time to really start putting practices in place, start putting protocols in place so you can start replacing bad habits, toxic habits that you have with new habits that can see you grow into the person that you're wishing to be. The divine is saying that your prayers have been heard, but the problem is it's very difficult to answer your prayers because there's no room in your life for new energies to enter, for newness to come in. So it's time to surrender. It's time to release the old. It's time to let go and move on from anything that you know deep down in your heart and your soul that you need to move away from. Let go of grudges. Let go of fights. 
that have been going on for years. Are you not tired? The universe is saying. If there's any toxic people in your life, this is the time to let them go so that the divine can bless you with new people who are uplifting, who can bring in new vibrant energies for you. So there's no need to be afraid. This is that invitation for you to co-create with the universe. Instead of saying, I've been praying and praying and asking and asking, and I've been trying to manifest something new in my life, but nothing ever happens. Well, have you taken the time out to clean out the old? The divine is saying it's almost like having a computer or laptop that is just full to the brim of old files, pictures, movies even maybe. And your laptop is running slow, it's lagging and it's frustrating to you. But has it ever occurred to you that you need to reboot your laptop, you need to remove all those old files, you need to remove all those pictures that you never look at so that you can free up your laptop so you can run faster and equally this is the same energy with your life you want something new to come in and yet you're not willing to delete reboot let go of things that you never use toxic people viruses that are around and you're like well they're family this is your choice to make after all. And we're seeing that by you being willing to cut out and clear, being willing to take this sword to really remove anything that doesn't need to belong in your life anymore, you now have the energy of the Ace of Swords. I love the Ace of Cell Swords because this is the energy of new this is the energy where everything begins, right? This is you planting a seed and it's the potential off. So once you've removed and you've created space, now the potential of something new can come in. Your blessings can arrive. Opportunities, inspiration. This is you now being able to manifest because this is the, the card that brings in that energy of the divine giving you. Okay, here you go. And will you accept and take so that you can create all these things that you've been dreaming of, all these things that you've been wanting to manifest in your life? So ideas could be coming in once you've cleared the slate. Ideas could be coming in. Opportunities could be coming in. So the divine is asking you that. Are you going to feel brokenhearted by letting things go that you don't really use? By letting people go that you really know deep down in your heart they're toxic for you? Would you be feeling heartbroken by really cleansing your space so that you can start on a new slate. So do not be broken hearted. If it's necessary to use this sword to cut out anything that really you know that this person, their energy really brings me down, but I keep them around because I don't want to be alone. This is the time to now be brave and not to be broken hearted by removing anything that's no longer serving you. The divine is saying like, if you think about it, if you have children, for instance, and your child maybe loved its dummy, right? It loved its dummy and it was so attached to this dummy and you're like, no, baby, you need to let this dummy go. You can't keep on sucking on this dummy. It doesn't look good anymore. And the child cried and then maybe one day you took it and you hid it and they cried, looked for it, and then eventually they got over it. Or maybe your child had a favorite toy or a blanket, and after a while you're like, baby, this blanket needs washing, this teddy needs washing, but your child will not let you wash this dirty, disgusting teddy. 
until one day you were forced to go and steal that blanket or that teddy, whatever it was, so that you could clean it and bring it back fresh and new. And so the divine is saying, don't be like the child. Don't be brokenhearted by things that are necessary, by actions that are necessary so that you can open up and get something new, open up and grow. Do not stay in situations that you have outgrown. Do not stay sucking on a dummy when it doesn't look good on you anymore. So you are hearing this message and accepting that you are the magician, right? You are the magician of your life. And being the magician, this is God granting you the power, and not only the power, the wisdom and discernment to be the magician of your life and realizing that you are connected to the divine. But being a magician, you have to be willing to learn how to use these elements. You have to learn how to be a magician. A magician is just not born a magician. You have to learn how to do the tricks. You have to learn how to do. So this is the card that's now inviting you to start learning and bringing in this new knowledge and wisdom so that you can grow into something incredible, into something amazing. Because you are always the magician of your life. You can always create but the divine is saying sometimes you're too much of a rush. You don't want to take the time out to learn that's needed. You don't want to take the time out to understand how to use the skills or gifts or talents that you, you were given. Being a magician requires responsibility. It requires hours and hours and hours to really hone your talents to be masterful and skillful so everyone can go, ah. So now you have cleared out the old and you're suddenly realizing how much gifts, talents, skills that you have. And now you are the magician. What will you do with this magical powers? that have been given to you. So the next card we have here is, is inviting you to take time out to really meditate, to really sit amongst thorns. And sit amongst thorns is a card that asks you to get comfortable with situations that might seem painful to start off with. Like we were saying about our child with their dummy they don't want to give it away and it's painful for them and us as adults we don't understand why they're so attached and so sitting amongst thorns is you sitting with your emotions looking at your life and seeing where you have this unhealthy attachment to people to situation to things and then sitting there and being peaceful with the letting go, getting to a place of peacefulness, even though it might be painful to release surrender, cut people out, cut things out of your life, but knowing it is for the greater good in the long run. And yes, it might cause you pain, but you know that this pain is necessary for your growth. The next card is asking you, to take time to sit with yourself and ask yourself what really lights you up, what makes you happy, what makes you feel that this life is worth living. What do you want? This is that invitation to ask you as you're clearing this slate, as you're releasing, surrendering, letting go. Now it's time to also Ask yourself what it is that you want to bring in to these places that you have cleared and made way for new things to enter. So 
what you want, the divine wants to know. Finally, our last card is challenging you to be, to be bold and make the first move. The divine says you know exactly where you need to make the first move. Even if this is an area where you're taking that leap of faith, the divine is saying by you being willing to take that first move, by you being willing to really understand that sometimes it's necessary to be bold because sometimes it's hard to do the things that we're meant to do, the things that we know are good for us. So this is the time for you to be bold, for you to have faith that God will work with you. The divine will always be here walking next to you. So whatever is causing you pain by letting go, by releasing, surrendering, remember that you have your guardian angels. You have the divine always here assisting you, helping you deal with the pain of releasing people, situations, things that don't belong in our future. The divine will help you to be able to sit with that pain, to be able to sit amongst thorns and not be troubled and not be in pain. Because sometimes it is necessary to go through that that growing pains, that birthing pains, so that we can get to the other side of where we want to go. And this is where you are currently. So get comfortable being peaceful amongst thorns. And this is the reading that I have for you. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, Aquarius. Comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And I'll see you in my next video. And say goodbye for me.